Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to class. Today we're going to work on poses for stiff hamstrings and weak lower backs. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when a new video is available. Let's take a chair and put it to the top end of your mat with the back of the chair facing you and step back from the chair, perhaps about your legs length away from the chair. We're going to work first on flexing in the hips because if we're wanting to stretch into a forward bend, which involves the lengthening of the hamstrings, we need to know how to flex in the hips. If we start with the feet hip width apart, feet parallel, we'll bend the knees, fold at the hips, so there's a hinging type movement, and bring your hands onto your thighs, just above the knees. Lengthen the breastbone forward, so the front body is long, and feel as if you're trying to stick the buttocks back. Keeping the front body long means that we're keeping our back straight, protecting the lower back from potential strain or injury. We're going to slowly work towards straightening the knees. Still drawing the sternum forward, slowly lift the buttocks up, hands are still on the knees, Lift the buttocks in an effort to straighten the knees and see if you can keep lengthening the breastbone forward. Now at some stage, if you do feel tight in the hamstrings, what may happen is the lower back starts to bulge up. And ideally we don't want that. So noticing if there's a strain that starts to happen, not only in the hamstrings, but in the lower back. And you can feel, if you bring your hand onto the lumbar spine, whether the spine is bulging up and sitting higher than the pelvis. Perhaps that's an indication you need to come back into a bent knee position, reassess that hinge in the hips. We'll keep the knees bent now as we reach the hands onto the top of the chair. Make sure your chair is on a sticky mat so it doesn't scoot away from you. As we work towards tilting the chair onto its front legs, slowly lift the sitting bones, buttocks, to straighten the knees. Draw the breastbone forward. Front body long. Stay here and breathe. Press the head of the thighs back. Lift the sitting bones, the buttocks. Draw the upper sternum forward towards the chair. To come out of the pose, bend the knees, look forward, start to raise the head and raise the chest as you place the chair onto all four legs and step forward to come out of the pose. Let's move on to Pajvokanasana, the lateral angle pose. We step the right toes between the back legs of the chair, hold the top of the chair, bend the right knee and stride the left leg a long way back, turn the left heel across to the right side of the mat enough that you can press the heel down and straighten both knees. Move the outer left hip forward so you're bringing your pelvis more and more level to the front of the chair. Again, when we start to fold forward, we want to consider that we're hinging forward, we're folding at the hips. Keep the sternum lengthening away from the navel. Inhale. Exhale now. Tilt your chair onto its front legs and slowly start to lean forward over that right leg. Intend to keep the back heel plugging down but move that outer left hip forward as the outer right hip rolls back. Back of the pelvis level relative to the floor. Sternum forward and we're working with the straightening of the knees to the best of our ability. Gripping of the kneecaps, actioning the quadriceps. Smooth, steady breathing. Then we can raise the head up, raise the chest, 
as we come up and out of the pose, chair onto all four legs, bend the right knee, step forward, stand up. Now, place your left toes between the back legs of the chair, bend the left knee, long stride back, turn the right heel across to the left side of the mat, enough that you can press the heel down, but then when you straighten both legs, draw the outer left hip back. Move the outer right hip forward towards the chair. Work with the grip of the kneecaps, activation of the quadriceps, the firming of the thighs. Inhale, exhale, tilt your chair onto its front legs. Move the breastbone forward. And again, we're getting this hinging, folding motion in the hips. A strong flexion here in this left hip, challenging the left hamstrings and potentially challenging the right calf muscles. Plug the right heel, but move the outer right hip forward towards your chair. All the while breathing smoothly, keeping the facial muscles soft. No grimacing, no holding tension in the jaw. See if you can let go the jaw. Let go the muscles around your eyes. Then raise the head up, raise the chest up. Bring the chair onto all four legs. Bend the left knee and step forward. Let's transition to another pose. Turn your chair so that your right hand can hold onto the back of the chair. You've got the chair seat to work with and bring a block into place. Step your right heel onto the chair seat and place your block just inside that right ankle. So we're now doing a variation of Uttita Hasta Padangvastasana and we'll do a forward bend over this right leg. So again, this idea of folding, hinging forward at the hips. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, keep the back straight rather than flexing the back, flex at the hips, breastbone forward. Reach your left hand to the block and if you can go further, lower the block. All the while, intend to keep the front body long, draw the breastbone forward away from the navel. Notice this right leg Watch it doesn't roll out to the side. Keep your kneecap and your toes facing the ceiling. Notice the left leg and watch that's not turned out. Keep your kneecap and toes facing the chair. And we slowly come up, left hand on the waist, raise the torso up and come to stand. Let's turn our chair the other way. Standing on the right leg, step your left heel up onto the chair seat and place your tall block inside the left ankle. We're preparing to come forward over this left leg. Inhale, exhale, lean forward over the left leg. And again, just watch this leg's not turning out. Kneecap and toes face the ceiling. Once more, hinging at the hips, folding at the hips, not flexing at the spine. Draw the breastbone forward, away from the navel, ensuring that you're keeping your back straight, legs straight. Reach your right hand to the block. If you can go further, lower the block. And Keep your breath smooth and steady. Earlier I was referencing the jaw. Make sure you're not clenching the teeth. Can you relax the facial muscles? Easy, steady breathing. To come out of the pose, right hand onto the waist. Raise the head, raise the torso and step the left leg down. We're going to come into some seated postures. We will utilize our chair 
turn the chair so that it faces you and we'll take a blanket to sit on. Fold the blanket at least in three, depending on how thick your blanket is. We do want significant height to sit on. Sit, buttocks on your blanket, legs come underneath your chair. We want to be able to hold on to the front of the seat of the chair without too much effort. If you're struggling to sit straight and lift the lower back, if you feel that the hamstrings are so tight that your pelvis is being pulled back, then perhaps sitting on more height, double the height of this folded blanket and see can you roll the pelvis forward in order to move the lumbar spine in. As we sit straight, we're wanting to press the thighs down, head of the thighs down to the floor, and that action of pressing the thighs down can create the rebound effect, the lift up through the breastbone. Now this already may be a strong stretch for you. If you feel you can go further, take your hands up the arms of the chair. As you do so, again, we want this long front body and a straight back. We can lean the spine diagonally forward, but note that we're not wanting to simply round the back in an effort to come forward. So push the hands into the chair, lift the breastbone as you fold at the hips. If the hamstrings are tight, it may cause this uh, feeling that the knees want to pull up away from the floor. If that's the case, come back up a little bit more with the torso so that you can work your thighs down. Breastbone up. Facial muscles soft. And then come out of the pose. We'll do one more posture. Bend the right knee to the side. Catch the inner knee. Bend the right knee out to the side. If your knee needs support, you can wedge a folded blanket or towel underneath that outer thigh or knee. Hold the seat of the chair once more. And again, press the thigh down, now the head of the left thigh down, to lift the breastbone up, shoulder tips down. As we come forward, we'll take the hands to the arms of the chair. If you feel you can go further, walk your hands up the chair. And certainly you could play with bringing that chair in closer to you so that it, you can walk your hands up the chair. Feel that the predominant flexion is here in the hips, not so much in the back, in the spine. Left thigh presses down, breastbone lifts up. And then come out of the pose, stretch the right leg forward, and we'll bend the left knee out to the side. If the knee needs support, roll a blanket or a towel, or perhaps use a block underneath that outer shin and thigh. Hold onto the seat of the chair, Press the head of the thigh down, create that rebound effect, the lift through the sternum, and maintain the lift through the lumbar spine. Now, if you feel you can stretch into a forward bend here, slowly hinge at the hips, and perhaps you can walk your hands up the chair, and as you press the hands into the chair, whether it's on the seat of the chair, or on the arms of the chair, lift up the sternum, Keep the front body long and go on pressing the head of the right thigh down. Smooth, steady breathing. Facial muscles soft. And then we'll come up and out of the pose. A lot of what we've practiced today is helping to protect the lower back from injury while we work on stretching stiff hamstrings. 
That's it for today. Thanks for joining me.